Andrew McCaw, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, and I'm delighted to be joined by Lee McGregor, the European Bantamweight champion. Uh, Lee, first and foremost, since you've won that title, like I've just spoke to you a little bit before I push record there, since you've won that title, you've been like a man possessed. You've not stopped yeah. training, mate. Are you just hungrier than, than ever to, get, to keep progressing and winning more titles? Yeah, 100%, obviously, like the last six months, um, as much as it was a frustrating six months, it really um, made me realise my my potential and I'm, I'm within touch and distance of life-changing opportunities and the progression I'm making in the gym is just obviously like just so, so encouraging and it's just obviously keeping me motivated, staying in the gym and like I said beforehand in the lead up to this fight, uh, that fight, it was just, uh, I was complete different and I feel like a new fighter, a new person, not just like in terms of my career, like just my my, to my lifestyle has totally changed. Um, I've been guilty in the past, the after fights, like ballooning up in weight, maybe going going out for weeks on end and not really keeping up my training because I feel like I've earned a rest and because mm -hmm. I've had this hard training camp. But as I've, as I've said uh, previously numerous times, like this is a lifestyle for me now. It's not no these training camps or, or anything like that. Like, it's, this is my lifestyle. So, like you said, ever since my fight, I've been in the gym every single day, still disciplined, still training, working on what, I, what I've been working on for the past six months. And obviously, everybody's seen the improvements. So, I'm not going to, um, like, delay my improvements. I'm going to stick it. Out. I'm going to keep on working. I'm going to keep on drilling until I'm... Li listen, this is what I mean. There's no ceiling on my success. Like, of my potential, my dreams, like, there's not, there's not, like, literally, like, I'm improving every single day, and I even feel like, when I go back down to Harlow, which I am tomorrow, Ben and Lee Wiley and that are going to be like, he stayed on it, because I've, I've improved since my fight again, and that's without even the, the input of Ben and Lee and that, that's just basically like, through, through, I still talk to them every day, they're still sending me things, and I think a big thing, big thing with me recently has been um study a lot of study and i'm just um there's a lot of thought behind what i'm doing now whereas before it, uh, that wasn't the case and that's why i'm improving so much and that's why it's um it's just encouraging me to keep keep on it that's the thing that i've noticed that on instagram and stuff like that like the way you're sort of drilling yourself and stuff like that when i, when I watch your little videos and it seems to me when i'm watching you from out the outside looking in Honestly, I only see what you're doing on Instagram. We might have a little chat here and there, but from the outside looking in, it seems to me that the hunger that you have now, it's like a burning desire to reach your goals. I mean, you've always had them dreams of becoming world champion and stuff like that, but right now I can feel like, and you said yourself, you're in touch and distance of it. And I can feel like you're ready to stamp your authority and get make, make your name a household name in Scotland and, and the UK. Yeah, 100%. Um, and like, like I said, and that's that's because I've realised my potential. I'm starting to grasp like exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and the results are speaking for themselves. Obviously, my last fight was a total like one round blowout, like massive statement. And people that don't really know boxing think that that was just a pushover. Like the the inside boxing people know that that was a well well seasoned pro, uh, well seasoned European level fighter. Like we said beforehand, there's not many more solid European fighters out there than the likes of Karim Griffey. So to go out there and do a job like that, it's, um, it's a big statement. And it's not just that. It wasn't just a one-off performance. Um, I'm doing the same in the gym. I'm surprising so many people in the gym, sparring really well, bigger, heavier guys. And I feel like I'm really um, starting to like get my style now. Obviously, we, we kind of changed like a whole new style since going with Ben and Lee and I'm just getting better and better every single week. And it's just honestly so, so encouraging. And when I am obviously know that, like you say, in touch and distance, there's no way I'm going to jeopardise any any um, opportunities. And so the, this is why I'm staying ready. I, I'm ready to fight now. Like, I could fight next week, genuinely. I'm fit as a fiddle. I'm absolutely flying. And like I said, I think Ben and that are going to be surprised when I when I get back down. And, and because... Like I said, I have been built in the past of blooming up and weight and, and letting my fitness go and that. Like, I'm in a better position now than I was four weeks out from the cream fight. So it just shows you my um, discipline, 
dedication and everything. It's just it's, it's all going to pay off 100. percent Lee, have you had a day off? I've had a couple. To be <laughs> fair. I've had a couple. Um, just been nice, um, but it's it's just nice to train, to enjoy it, like to work on things and have no pressure to. I get a big session in here, like I need. I've got weight to make in a couple of weeks, and I've got this. It's just nice to like have a good hard session, but like really fuel yourself for that session, then really fuel yourself after it, like all things like that. Like I'm still eating really, really well. Um, my diet spot on. Like I'm, that's a massive thing that's changed with me recently is my nutrition, and I think that's got another big, huge part to play in it. Um, in terms of my progression as well. Every I'm real. Like, I'm a proper professional now. Like I'm doing everything properly, and the results are showing it. Like if you if you put the work in, you you will get the re, the reward, hundred percent. And it's it's took not to that next level, I believe. Well, I seen I seen your post, and I want to talk about the, the the Everlast deal. And you you said in your sort of Instagram post that there's a photo of you, maybe what eight, nine, yeah. ten years old, whatever it was, and you've got big Everlast yeah. gloves on. Yeah. But now you're a sponsored Everlast athlete. First of all, talk to me about the the deal with Everlast and stuff like that, and then talk about me like the, the sort of your post where you said I never thought in a million years that this 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 kid yeah. would wear them gloves and now be sponsoring athletes. So just talk to me a little bit about that. No, obviously, like first of all, I'm I'm just grateful to be um, a part of such a, a massive brand. And uh, like you said, as a kid, like they were the the gloves I was wearing as a young kid, and just totally oblivious to. Sorry, totally oblivious to um, what what was to come. And like, for example, if you were to say fast forward 10, 15 years, you'll be um, a sponsored athlete with the guys. You you just simply wouldn't believe it. Like, you just wouldn't. So basically, moral of the story in that post was like, all to all the younger generation and, and everyone out there, like, it is possible. Like, I'm just an ordinary young lad. I haven't had it easy. It's been brought up, brought up tough, rough rough estate and I know people use that one a lot of rough council estate and blah 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 but generally I have I have I've had the tough part <laughs> and, and um it just goes to show how if you want it really bad and like I said you sacrifice your discipline you work hard and um, but most importantly believe in your dreams then anything is possible and I think that's true and it's just unbelievable what Everlast are doing and um, signing 52 fighters within the year just unbelievable uh, and again I think it's only going to encourage the younger generations to um, stick in and then really put everything in it and because they're now seeing the opportunities that are going to be um, on the horizon for them when it's when it's simple it's finally their time to turn professional or I, I see that um, Everlast are even working with amateurs like everywhere athletes in all different sports so it's just it's fantastic, and it's obviously, as I said, great for the younger generation, great for boxing, great for, for everybody involved in sport, and I really think it's encouraging them a lot of kids to, to do the right thing rather than the bad things these days. Definitely, it's a good message to put across as well for definitely these younger generations, and obviously the gyms are opening up soon, so hopefully we can get the new generation back in the boxing gyms, and we can we can finally get to the, the next Josh Taylor, the next Lee McGregor from Edinburgh and stuff like that, but Lee, Another sponsored athlete from Everlast is our friend Josh Taylor, your gym mate, your big bro as you call him. Um, he's got a big fight out in May. You're going out there to continue your training with Ben and stuff like that uh, and obviously support your gym mate. Just talk to him about Josh and how much of an inspiration he is if he goes on, well, when he goes on to become undisputed and stuff like that. Is that something that you're hoping to become an undisputed champion similar to what Josh is? Yeah, definitely, of course. Uh, I, th- I just think that um, myself and Josh... Uh, Again, Josh, another great example. Like, it's if you work hard and put the work in, anything is possible. And we're going to continue to keep proving that. But in terms of like inspiration, yeah, I look up to Josh so much. Uh, I, I learn so much off him in the gym every single day and really do appreciate each other. I'm looking forward to getting out there for these last hard, tough four weeks. And that's another reason why I've stayed on it and stayed fit because there's no way I'm going to be letting him. Um, get away with I know he's going to be super fit and in unbelievable shape now and um, compared to what it was when obviously I was back in camp uh, so it's I'm, I'm wanting to stick with him I'm wanting to stay with him and keep pushing him on and that's that's um it's good that I'm fit and ready to do that because it'll be it'll be good for him to have that like we've both said before we push each other on and I genuinely think 
what I certainly wouldn't push myself as tough as what I do in the gym if I never had the likes of Josh and that alongside me. And he's the exact same. I think any um, boxer, I'll, I'll tell you the same. Uh, no matter, obviously, you put 100% effort into it, into it, everything you do. But I just think if you've got that teammate alongside you, or someone is, I think you get that extra 10% out yourself. So I think the most important part is camp now in the last four weeks. It's going to be nice to join join them, be alongside them, and, and push them and get them over that last final hurdle and make sure he's 100% ready. And I'm sure it will be. And like I said, we, we both. Keep, we keep talking about it. It's just going to be unbelievable when he gets all them belts, and we both can't wait for that. Um, that photo after, I think we're going to have about I don't know how many belts. We'll need to count them, maybe ten or eleven. Every well, like we say, every belt in boxing after this one. So and you've got the, I've you've done got my the job, and I'm confident. Yeah, do the same. Just break it down. You'll have the British Commonwealth and European, and Josh will have all four four belts plus the ring magazine. So. And this Commonwealth as well. He got the Commonwealth as well, didn't he? So yeah. there's two Commonwealths. There's a British, there's a European, there's every single world title. That's four. And then there's ring five, seven. Yeah, so you're talking like that's going to be an unbelievable photo. So, yeah, you know I'm going to crash that photo, photo. right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a shame, obviously, I can't bring my belts over with me. So we'll have to wait till we're back in Edinburgh for that. Date anyway. up the castle. Date up the castle Esplanade. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I'm gate crashing that photo. <laughs> uh, Lee, you mentioned uh, Josh there and the, you're pushing them on. Is there like a little competition between you two when you do your runs and your sprints and stuff like that? So you can get the fastest time. Is there a little bit of friendly competition between you and Josh? No, definitely. Like, it's not as if it's like competition as in like, well, I know it is to be honest, but it's, we're not looking at it as like I'm, I'm going to beat you kind of thing. It's more yeah. like we're just pushing ourselves to 100% max effort and like, at the end of the day, you, you are going to compete against each other. We want to improve each other. And uh, we've got that little competition there. So, yeah, but there's no one any, any thingy about that. It's just like in a, in a friendly way. Like, and we want the best for each other. And I think that's why we both push each other on so much. And, yeah, I just think that we definitely get the best out of each other when we're training alongside each other. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to joining up with them for the last four weeks. And it's going to be a tough four weeks for him. And I'm sure it will be for myself, even though I'm just, um, I, I should say, just getting back into it. But like I said, I've not stopped. So yeah, stop. I'm, in a, and I'm, I'm in a perfect place uh, to, uh, this far out from, obviously, um, no finalised date yet. Obviously, we were supposed to be on this Vegas card. I think there's been slight problems with visas in terms of being able to fight and stuff like that. So... It's not looking likely uh, that I'm going to be fighting, but either way, I'm going to be fighting very soon and I'll have news on that potentially in the next week or two. So it's um, I'm in a perfect position, like I said. So best position I've ever been. And like and like, like what I said, like four weeks out from the Kareem fight, just with obviously the amount of cancellations and stuff, it was tough. I was down at the weight, back up, back down at the weight, back up. Very, very challenging, but Right at this moment in time now, I couldn't I couldn't be in a better position. Right, Lee, finally, before I let you go, obviously, you are going to Vegas to support your gym mate, Josh Taylor. Uh, I'm guessing you, you you know he's going to win, but how does he win? Does he stop Ramirez? He can do. Yeah, he can do. I think, obviously, Ramirez is tough. I think Josh obviously going to have to... Um, box out with his skin I think it's going to have to be a, a career best performance I think it's going to be and the way we're all um, performing in the gym I think it's going to be a, a massive statement whether or not like like you said like we we as, as Ben Davis as we just keep obviously shocking people um, so I don't want to say anything because nothing will surprise me. Like, generally, a one-round shutout, nobody expected that with me. Mm. Um, so I think this proved that I'm not, uh, I wouldn't write anything off. But what I do know is um, he will be coming back with, with all them belts and 100%. And I'll be throwing every single shot with him um, by by the side, ring side. So I'm, I'm just obviously, cannot wait to get over there, get settled in and, just basically getting his own with him because, like, I know it's his fight, but uh, I do get 
emotionally attached a, a little bit as well, definitely. And I feel like it's a it's a big night for us all, for the whole team. Um, so I just looking forward to getting over there and zoning in as a team, and we'll he'll get he'll get this job done definitely, and we'll we'll make sure that he's he's the best prepared for it. All the belts in Scotland, can't wait. I know, unbelievable, isn't it? Definitely, bro. I know you've got a busy day ahead and a busy day tomorrow, so I won't keep you much longer. I do appreciate your time. But you did spot Jason Eastman. I've seen the post there on Instagram as well. How yeah. was that? Yeah, no, bro, it's good. It was, Jason uh, still got it? Get... Yeah, yeah, Jason <laughs> still. He's always, like you say, he's always training that himself yeah. anyway. And fingers crossed we can see him get back in that and yeah, get in the ring soon. A lot, of time uh, him, a lot of time for him. So he's still hopeful and things hopefully looking good. I don't know what, what position he's in just yet, but my fingers and toes are crossed from because he's a, a waste of talent if he wasn't wasn't get back in the ring and let's hope that one day we do see him. Who knows? It could be the the undercard, the the, the big return home um, and Joshua's next fight, defending all them belts and me being on the undercard in a massive fight as well. And then the return of Jason. Now I tell you what, that would that would sell out any arena in Edinburgh. So fingers crossed we can all get back and uh, sharing the shows together. And I think we're bringing big nights back to. Uh, Scotland already, but let's let's bring even bigger nights back and get get all all the Edinburgh boxers and Scottish boxers involved because, like you say, Scottish boxing is booming just now, and let's continue to keep keep taking over. Definitely, well, my fingers and, and toes are crossed for Jason as well. Like I say, he's a good friend of mine, and he he's doing everything he can. He stays fit and stuff like that. Like I say, so it's good to see him at least getting back to sparring and stuff like that. So fingers crossed, Lee. Won't keep you much longer, brother. I do appreciate your time as always, and. Uh, might see you in a few weeks, my man. So stay safe yep. and I'll see you soon, mate. Nice one, Andy. Thank you, mate. Cheers, Lee. Cheers, Cheers. man.